Hello, John. You're going to tell us today about Monsignor Hugh O'Flaherty, also known as the Scarlet Pimpernel. That's right. Monsignor Hugh O'Flaherty, known as the Scarlet Pimpernel, uh, was uh, an Irish Catholic priest and a Monsignor based in Rome during the Second World War. He was from Kerry and a matter of fact his, his nephew, his brother's, his, his father's brother or his nephew, he had a nephew called, also called Hugh O'Flaherty who became uh, the famous judge Hugh O'Flaherty who uh, sat either on the Supreme Court or the Circuit Court for many years and was a notice and was a, a great judge. Named after, named after Monsignor Hugh O'Flaherty. Okay, I think you have an article there in front of you. You might read it. Uh, I read have it. just to give a flavour, um, and this was in um, uh, a magazine uh, called the Tablet. Pimpernel honoured. That's the title. An Irish Monsignor who helped to save six and a half thousand Jews and Allied prisoners of war in occupied Rome during the Second World War was honoured by the Vatican on Sunday. Monsignor Hugh O'Flaherty became known as the Scarlet Pimpernel of the Vatican for his ability to evade Nazi efforts to capture him over, the, over his involvement in the Rome escape line. This helped to conceal Allied prisoners of war, uh, Allied pr prisoners of war, freed after the fall of Mussolini in 1943, but who the Nazis sought to recapture, because they, the Nazis, under uh, Kerner or Kessler, uh, became uh, the police in Rome, and were spent their time trying to capture. Uh, pr prisoners of war and w and had Monsignor Hugh O'Flaherty on their most wanted list and devised many ruses including dressing their despicable Nazis as priests to try and, and capture him. They didn't succeed. Uh, much of his clandestine operation was conducted from within the Vatican German College, where Monsignor O'Flaherty lived for 22 years. At the unveiling of the Monsignor Hugh O'Flaherty Memorial plaque at the Teutonic, Teutonic, Teutonic and that's German College in the Vatican, the Irish Ambassador to Holy See, Emma Madigan, paid tribute to the Kerry priest's moral courage in very dark times. Well, Monsignor Hugh O'Flaherty Seems like a very brave man. Uh, she, she's quoted in that article by using those terms. He was more than the description that she applied to him there. He put his life in danger. He had other Irish priests that were based in Rome at the time. He had priests from other jurisdictions. He had Italian people from princes that were resident in Rome to a famous Maltese mother of five daughters who gave sanctuary throughout this dreadful period of the German occupation of that city uh, to shelter prisoners of war, both Jewish people and prisoners of war in in very highly dangerous circumstances which could have led to their death. He also had other women and families outside Rome and a network that only he, being the highly motivated and spirited and good humoured human being uh, that, that, he, that he was and that he, the Catholic Church was honoured to have him as a member. What do you think was his inspiration? What drove him to the sense of humanity that he had? Correct. It was his sense of humanity. It was his. It, it was the uh, the nurture that he grew up with to help 
the weaker human being that he ever come across and he was ordained probably from on high to be in Rome during this dark period. The Germans had him top number one to try and arrest him. They used every ruse under the sun in, including having their despicable agents dressed as priests mm -hmm. to try and lure him. Uh, he was fortunately warned by people that were his friends and allies. There was one famous man called May who was uh, I think a handyman in the British Embassy but was a, a sort of a, a water mitty that he kept his ear everywhere and was able to advise Monsignor Hugh O'Flaherty of any danger of trap that might have been set for him. He went out of his way to visit and, and help and house prisoners of war. As a matter of fact, people when they came to Rome, prisoners of war, they knew about Hugh O'Flaherty, Monsignor Hugh O'Flaherty, and they always sought him out. For a period of time, in order that people could get messages to him, he stood on the steps of St. Peter's and was a familiar figure. <laughs> By the way, very good. He was un, uh, uh, he was attached to the Roman Curia as well, but he was not supported by that body because he was not Italian, and they were very clannish. So he had pressure from some parts from some parties there, but a, a Cardinal Octaviana or some of that name was a great friend of 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 Monsignor. Um, Hugh O'Flaherty and supported him against the plots that was made against him, not least by the Germans, but by his own. Thanks very much, John. That was a very nice story. Well, now there was a bit more. Go uh, ahead, yes. Go yes, there's a bit more. Um, he he um, um, eventually, after the war, he was honoured by getting the freedom of the US, the highest congressional honour that could be bestowed. Uh, General Clark and all these other generals. He was honoured by the US, he was honoured by many countries including Italy, including France and now the Vatican just recently uh, and he was honoured in every country uh, including Britain for the humane war. Also honoured by the Jewish state as being the most righteous the most righteous because of his help to the Jewish people. They were, he had them housed in convents and, sp and places where their, where their lives were safe. So he was honoured by, by Israel as the most right righteous. His, 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 his help to the people in desperate circumstances is, is, there's been a film made about it. Gregory Peck, the famous film actor, uh, played the part of Monsignor Hugh O'Flaherty. Uh, the only country in which he wasn't honoured is, is in this country. And I'm not surprised because they wouldn't recognise sometimes goodness if it hit them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks very much, John. Thank you very much. Nice way to end up. Okay.